Hello everybody, this is a uh, Peter Bill uh, 579, if I am correctly. I don't see what is the plate and says the number, but uh, uh, yeah, I think of it right here. Um, and it has 300,000 miles, 350,000 miles, we can say. Uh, we are doing a transmission calibration, and this one has a Eton Endurance transmission. Um, and I want to show you this. Okay. Uh, if you are experimenting uh, problems with the transmission, hard shifting, the gear is not going into uh, uh, the gear is not going in after you are uh, trying for so long uh, to get a gear in. So let's say, for example, you do uh, a dry and the transmission just keeps on saying numbers and then eventually goes back to neutral and then you do reverse and it says like a R over here but it's still neutral, never goes into gear. So that is what we wanna try to fix with this uh, a calibration. So the calibration consists on uh, the rail calibration. The rail calibration means that we are going to calibrate the uh, travel between uh, one gear position to another position and to the highest gear and all that. So when you do the calibration, you have to be sure that you don't have no faults. Uh, it tells you all that, see? And you, you have to have all that to start the calibration. And these are the conditions, see? Do the calibration right here. And, that, and then it will go like uh, into a, a observation mode. It will make sure that everything is within a spec. And if that's the case, you can click on here, on this one it says uh, execute uh, calibration. You click on it and it will start the calibration. When the calibration happens, you're gonna hear so many noises like clack noises, uh, gear going in and all that. That's completely normal because the uh, transmission is uh, a, a learning the new travel of each specific gear and the, red, and the, and the range selection. Um, so you can relearn and do the proper procedure to introduce the gears correctly. When you do that, um, after, after you do that, it will send this error, I mean this message right here, it says service routine finished and zero errors, zero faults were reported. Um, if that is the case, it means that you have a good transmission or something. If you have any faults right here, if it says one error, one fault, whatever, um, that is something that you need to address and fix you need to follow the troubleshooting or follow the fault codes and see what is the uh, a, a fault about and repair it. And then continue on, uh, do another calibration to fix the issue. Once you do that, they're gonna send you this information right here. This information is basically the whole uh, information about how each calibration was. See, we have the air pressure. Uh, we will have this, uh, uh, millibars and the number right here see it drop a liter that's normal because the air is used for these aromatic transmissions but then we have the calibration of the rails and in this case see we have all these uh, numbers and they're all the same see these numbers are the same so we have no calibrations updates uh, on this one but then we have this one see we have before and after so we have difference on numbers so we had calibrated these rail thing was our calibration um, and then we continue on the next one which is the C oh sorry went down okay so the same thing see we had calibrated this one because it was our calibration you can see the variation of numbers and we continue to the D number the rail D same thing see calibrated completely it was our calibration and the last one will be e. same thing we have calibrated so these numbers right here are the ones that determine the travel of the uh, if, if each rail or each uh, gear position and based on that the transmission is going to give you a smooth shifting 
or it's going to give you a rough shifting depending on what is the issue so be sure to calibrate your transmission if you have problems like this but for this you're gonna need the specific software which is the Eton's Eton Service Ranger uh, for uh, Eton transmissions in this case the endurance transmission uh, if you don't have this uh, a software you um, you may have a little hard time trying to do this process but uh, uh, the only way to do is with this anyway uh, this is uh, what I had to add for you guys uh, it is a very uh, simple repair but very complicated if you have problems with the transmission and if the transmission doesn't pass these calibrations mostly then you have problems with the transmission or problem with the mechanism that moves the rails or the actual uh, uh, synchronization of the transmission which means that you need to um, uh, repair the transmission. Also the clutch can be a big factor if the clutch is not releasing completely uh, the uh, 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 the transmission speed like whenever you apply the clutch the clutch has to stop I mean the transmission has to stop because the clutch is being completely uh, released from the movement of the transmission uh, of, the, of the engine so if that is not happening the transmission is not going to be able to get gears in so uh, that is another factor that you need to apply so it's very, it's very important that after you do, or before you do a transmission uh, calibration, you do uh, transmission uh, clutch calibration as well. So that way the, uh, the clutch learns, uh, I mean the, the solenoid learns the new clutch, uh, the clutch position, so you can prevent problems with the transmission. But a very simple uh, video about explaining what these transmissions are. These endurance transmissions are very complicated because they're all electronic. But you need the software in order to make them a little more easier to understand. And if you don't have the software, well, I mean, you will need to do something about that to uh, work on this transmission. But uh, this is pretty much all. I hope you um, uh, like this video. Uh, I'm going to try to do more content about these transmissions. Endurance transmissions is pretty complicated and there is no much information about it. Uh, if you want to add anything to this video, you can share it on the description below. Um, uh, I mean on the comment section below uh, in the description of this video you can see uh, uh, my shop location if you want to come over and uh, you know like share subscribe it's very important uh, that way I can uh, continue making more videos informative videos just like this um, well I mean uh, uh, anything else uh, I don't know what to say but for the moment this is all we're gonna be uh, talking about and uh, and this and, uh, and another thing before finishing this video this process is going to be similar to any truck that has this type of transmission it doesn't matter if you have a kw peterbilt uh freilander uh, uh, volvo uh, mac or whatever whatever brand international then uses eton endurance transmissions still it's going to be the same way on how to do the calibration and the same software to do the calibration